over here and check in. Uh, we'll do uh, probably, I don't know, maybe you can call back when I'm uh, rolling again or something. All right. Getting off the freeway here, City of Industry, 60, well, Highway 60, um, the 7th Street exit. And my shipper is right here on 7th Street. Shippers gonna be up the street here on the left side. Yeah, Golden State Foods uh, here on seventh. So that's why I went ahead and came over here right away. It's not that far down. It's past this light. Sometimes I have to stop in the middle of the street. Sometimes I can pull right into their lot. Ah, okay, so I've got this facility here, and then there's another one right after it. Uh, right where that yard drop is coming out of is where I'm turning in. Spot are completely trashed what I needed to do. My trainer's blocking the fast lane because I couldn't get over there. Right. Yeah, there's room here for me to go ahead and park right next to this. This lease trailer. No, that's ten. No, wait, damn it. That's September, right? Yeah. Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna get, I got door seven. Uh, I'm gonna be worked in, but it's, he says it's slow right now. Only the, well, I think there's a bobtail in door nine or something like that. Uh, or, well, this guy up here, uh, door 12 or 13, whatever he's in. But yeah, I'm gonna be door nine or door seven, which is right here next to this um, container. Open 
the mouth. Center lane, so I'm gonna do two spots past instead of one uh, before I start my turn. And pick the target up here. the lines were lined up with the door but they're not. Not quite. So very little bit of forward to fix that. Give myself a chance to get my steers lined back my my tractor lined back up. Alright, perfect. and easy. That's a wrap for this uh, this one here. Uh, very quick and simple here, I'd say, it, uh, but this can be a tricky place to back in at. Because uh, you see it's a very tight setup lane. And in front of me, uh, there's not much room at all. And there's really not much room between the dock doors either. So if, uh, if there's somebody in the door next to your door, you might end up needing them to this, it's possible you could end up needing them to disconnect from their trailer or something so you can get in safely. Um, yeah, otherwise, like, oh, and, and, and like in this case, you got this container over here. The containers are shorter. That's, like, that's probably like a 40 footer. Definitely not a 53. Um, and there's a, there's a pretty good gap between the two, so. Yeah, there's plenty of room to work with there, at least as far as letting the trailer work its way in. Uh, also, uh, for those of you guys who always, I can always use help on the back, you notice how I set up. The setup is the biggest factor in making these look easy. Yeah, it's, it's a tight lane, and yeah, I made it look easy, but it's really nothing that nobody else can do. And, you know, it's... 90% of your backing, uh, 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 making it easy, is a good setup. To learn the good setups, and then just go straight back and let the trailer do its own work. You don't need to help it in any way, just back straight up most of the time. And there are some times where you absolutely have to help it. But more often than not, you shouldn't have to help the trailer at all. You could usually just go straight back with the tractor and watch the trailer do its own thing and when it starts uh, rotating just nicely into the spot then start to follow it and you know, make adjustments you know, periodically as I, as, I, as I was doing with this one. So hopefully that helps you guys out if you're 
you like to watch the backing footage. Alright, that's, uh, that's it. Uh, I'm going to just sit here and wait now. The the loader will come out eventually and uh, double uh, basically double check what my BOL is to verify that he's going to put the correct load in my trailer. And that this is a working. Now mind you, work-ins, what usually happens is uh, they, they work on whatever people are already scheduled first. And then, they, and then when they can fit you into whatever their existing schedule is with the trucks that are here on time, then they'll work you. So it can take some time. you got to be patient. In fact, when I was talking to the guard shack guy here, he was telling me about how uh, you know, a, lot of the, a lot of drivers, when they get told they have to get worked in, that it's a... Uh, uh, and there's going to be a delay for it to get pissy about it and act like, you know, just and that's the problem with truckers a lot of them get, uh, act like little prima donna bitches and act like, the, you know, they're, they're, they're spoiled brats not getting their way or you know, they just don't understand that's the way it works you show up late, it's not, even if it's not your fault, it's, it's not their fault you're, that you're screwing up their schedule as their workflow either so it just hey accept it. It's not your. It's not my fault. I showed up late. I got detained by my previous uh, receiver. It is what it is. And if I end up spending a couple extra hours here, so be it. It's not going to change uh, my appointment time over at the other at the other end. I'm still going to get there around the same time. Why do I need? Why do I need to make a big a big stink out of that? I don't. I don't need to. Uh, yeah, I don't need that stress. I don't need to piss off other people needlessly over it either. So just relax. Accept that it's, you know, some things are beyond your control and just deal with it. All right, that's all I have. And uh, I'll probably be going live when I leave here. Won't, probably won't be a very long trip. But, uh, yeah, be live more than likely leaving here. So this is going to be the end of this particular video. Uh, have a good day, guys. Thanks.